Now a family in Kisumu is seeking government's intervention after their kin who travelled to Qatar to work as a domestic worker died under mysterious circumstances. 30-year-old Mary Awonda reportedly died just one week after leaving her home in Kisumu with the cause of her death having been enlisted as electrocution. The family is, however, raising questions over the cause of her death. Laura Otieno has the details. A somber mood hangs over the home of Grace Awonda. Family and friends have gathered here, making burial arrangements for 30-year-old Mary Awonda, who died under unclear circumstances in the Gulf country of Qatar. The mother of two had left the country on 24th of July on the invitation of a close friend to work as a domestic worker in a private home. Hiyo kazi alipata ni kazi alikuwa anaulizia akasikia kuna mwenye anataka mpanye kazi. Hasa alisema tu lazima anaona kama kwenda nje ni mzuri kwa maana hiyo mshahara pia alikuwa anaenda kupewa ilikuwa mzuri anaanza kulinda nayo familia yake na waishi vizuri. Mary, a graduate in hotel management, did not even get her first salary. As the family says, they were informed of the death of their kin just one week after she landed in the Gulf country. Kaulingana na reporti ni tulipata uko ya postmortem, ilikuwa na sema alipigwa na steamer. Na yu steamer tulipewa tu final results, lakini hatu kupewa reporti. Minyo paswaji lifanywa. Sasa iyo ndiyo. Vile Mary aliaga, kuna nyanya yake pia menya mene mafuta pia Mary. Aliposikia hiyo, 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 hiyo kifo, pia hiyo alistuka, stuko ya moyo na akafa. Basa hii vile tunaonge tukuna matangambili. The body was repatriated on 19th August, but the family has been unable to raise funds for an independent post-mortem examination. Juggling between two funerals, Awonda's family is hoping that justice will ultimately be served. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV.